Hi Spud Diggers, thank you for watching that video. It's here. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. I uh, yeah, just ordered the TDI SL special edition. I'm so excited to see this machine. I've seen some really, really good videos on it. Um, it's going to be my second pulse machine. I do have the Beach Hunter, which I love, but um, let's see what's in the box. There it is. Oh, the machine itself. I love the way that it looks. And got a owner's manual and then the machine. I'm going to take this out and lay it on um, the sofa. Let's um, let's do that right now. All right, there it is. Oh, I love it. So with whites, you always get the batteries in the battery pack. So it takes eight. But on this model, the TDI SL, they do include a recharging dock battery, and then that's the cords. So that's cool. There's the coil. Minor John. You do have to put this right on, on here, I believe. Main unit. Well, that's cool. The rods and the coil connector. Well, thanks for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. I'm going to take this out next week. Hopefully we'll find some good stuff. Hi Spud Diggers. We're out and about. We're at Diamondville. I'm here with Bungalow Bill oh. <laughs> and, and Lucky Larry. It's his first time up here. And of course, we've got Goondock. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. It's 55 degrees. First time up here since the snow has melted. Look at the old rock house over there. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Oh, it's fantastic. We want to thank everybody for watching our videos. Thanks to our new subscribers. We really appreciate your support. I'm excited. I'm going up to my honey hole. I'm going to find some good stuff today. I just feel it. Thanks for watching. Let's go dig. All right, Spud Diggers. I'm going to head up on this hill here. I brought the MXT All Pro and the new GMX. Wish me luck. I've only been here a few minutes, maybe five minutes. And the way I set up my machine is I have it on Relic. I just like it a little bit better. I think I get a little bit more depth out of it, especially with that four by six coil. And then I just put it where the arrows are. A little bit of a threshold. And got a really nice signal right there. So I'm going to dig it. I'll show you what it is when I find it. Deep. Look at that. That is cool. I've never found a bullet like that before. So I've got another good signal here. I love it when it says buckle. That means it's really good or a piece of tin. Well, that really surprised me. It's uh, another bullet. Same one as the last one I found.
I'm really impressed with that small little coil. Um, look at this. <laughs> it's beautiful. That was about, it was under a bit of leaves. It's a good eight inches. I barely heard a little squeak. Uh, it was mixed in with some iron. So then I changed it to coin and jewelry and then I got a little bit better identification on it. Moved some leaves out, dug the hole a little bit and oh, it's beautiful sounding thing. That's nice. So I've switched over to the GMX. That looks like it's pretty good numbers. All right, let's go dig it, see what it is. No way, look at this. I just found another one with the GMX. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, it was under, I don't know if you can see the leaves. Let me zoom out a little bit. But it was under, oh, about two inches of leaves and it was about four inches down. Oh, that's sweet. Love it. So I thought I'd do a little bit of freestyling. And luck. There's an old dump up here. I saw some old cans, some old broken glass. I'm a little bit worried that this isn't going to be whole. Oh, it looks good though, so far. All right, I'll be careful. I'll show you what it is at the end. There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. I don't think it's too old, but I don't really care. I'll just love finding bottles. There's a little bit more broken glass here, so I'm going to stick around here for a few more minutes, see what's up here. I've just been freestyling a little bit. Uh, that's where that other bottle was. Lots of trash came out, but look what just popped out. Oh, it is beautiful. Still has the lid on. I'm not sure if it's old, but it's just beautiful. I know I said that about this bottle right there, but I think I really like this one too, a little bit better. I'll clean it up in a few moments. I just want to finish up here. I'm so excited. Lucky Larry's on something we think. Looks pretty good and promising. You never know when you're doing this type of stuff. Sure does. It almost looks like a ball of something. Oh. It's gonna take a little more digging. A little bit more digging. We think it's a saucepan or frying pan or something. Mason jar. Oh, those are, oh, it's still got the ceramic in there. That's nice. Oh, he's got it. Oh, look at that. It's an old frying pan. Is it? Yes. It's intact too. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I keep seeing beautiful on everything. I'm sorry, guys, but that's awesome. Well done. Lucky Larry. It's missing the handle. Missing the but handle. Other than that, it's intact, looking mm -hmm. good. Well, I think blue paint on it somewhere. Yeah. Well done, brother. All right. He's, there's some other stuff in there too. Oh, he's just found his first bottle. Look at that. Oh, may I? You bet. Look at that. I haven't ever seen one like that before. Oh, well done. 
Awesome, a find. Yes. Oh, I just found another one. Look at that. Very, very nice. I hope it's whole, I really do. There it is. It's got a little crack in it, but don't really care. That's nice. So Lucky Larry's just found this interesting thing. Looks like a light fixture of some uh, sort. Right. Here's your screws for the wires. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, it does. That's cool. Oh, I think Lucky Larry's on. Oh, look at that. It's nice. Oh! Complete. Well done, buddy. No cracks? No cracks. Nice. Well done. A little interlude. Um, Bungalow Bill, Lucky Larry have to uh, shoot off so this is Goondock stuff so far he's found Indian Head, V Nickel, um, some of this stuff this is uh, a shaving stick, uh, this is Lucky Larry's, Lucky found the wheel, I've seen the bottles, this is kind of interesting it's pretty light it's, it's tin we believe. Uh, Reese's peanut butter uh, and this is cool an old battery um, I don't really know what that is if you know what that is that's let us know it's his monarch but can't make anything else out here's mine so far uh, I've got four bottles uh, this is chili powder on it which is cool and then it's got an eagle on it and then on this side it says something eagle I love love that mason jar lid square nails there's those bullets I was finding a couple of suspender clasps button well uh, they have to go and of course Goondock never gives up <laughs> he's a good guy <laughs> so we, uh, Goondock and I are going to hang around and uh, I'm going up to Oakey's Hill. I'm going to take up the TDISL, see how that works up there. Wish me luck. Oh, that TDI is sweet. Couldn't believe it. Look what. It, that was about seven, seven inches down. And it rang up so loud. A little piece of bird shot. That's sweet. Well, spud diggers, had a lot of fun with the TDI. Didn't find much. A um, lot of nails, some bullets. But look at this one. This is my last haul. Look at this. Oh, oh that's sweet. It's huge. Thanks for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. Till next time, happy hunting and good luck.